All right, everybody, welcome back to Celtic Outdoors. I know it's been a long time since I have uh, made any videos, and I just, you know, no excuse other than it's hunting. Um, but I, I'm, I've been trying to put this video together since February. I went to the Western Expo out in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is an amazing expo. Um, got to see a ton of industry leaders. Um, those people who are big um, in YouTube and hunting and podcast, you know, it's it's the big names. Um, they're all from the, the, the Western states, so it's a... Uh, it's one of those things where it was just, you know, I'm running around talking to people. I, I really didn't even care. Well, I cared, but I didn't get a chance to see anything at the show other than, than the people. And, uh, and that's what I was there for because I'm telling you what, like I have watched and listened to podcasts and watched YouTube videos and learned. And, and you know, a lot of people watch YouTube and they're like, oh, yeah, all right, yeah, you know, and all that, they're on a, they're on a high fence, or they're this, and they're that, you know, and I, I just, you know, I watch what they do, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I do that, yeah, I do that, and then I'll be like, hmm, never thought about that before, and then, you know, when I'm out guiding, I'll, I'll try it, and then it works, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, so you can always learn from, from, from YouTube, and, um, I do believe it has a lot to do with who you watch. Um, some of them are just entertaining, and some are entertaining and educational, um, and and they're true, true to heart videos. Like they're not leaving anything out. If they miss, they miss. If they kill, they kill. If they wound, they wound. I mean, it's it's the ups and downs of hunting. And so, uh, so I got to talk to some of those. Uh, those guys and it was just it was great and if you watch me and follow me on facebook um it's celtic outdoors on facebook also and i uh i, I posted some pictures um and some video uh that i did on my phone while i was there um you know i got to meet like dirk durham you know he was a world champion caller um and and he's still really good um and he pushes the maverick and then you've got Jason Phelps who 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 pushes the pink and uh you know Jason Phelps is a he he makes his own he has his own call business but at the same time he still does his own hunting and uh him and Dirk do a lot together Dirk does his own sometimes uh you'll see Corey Jacobson with Dirk uh Corey Jacobson was there but not the day that I was there uh he had left already um I got to talk to Dan Picard, who is from Eastman's Hunting Outdoors, and I love watching him hunt because he's really, he's very educational when he does it, but at the same time, he's very uh, methodical about what he does and how he does it, and, and it, it, he's just great to watch. It's not just about going out and killing, like he's really explaining a lot to you, and that's that's what you want when you're watching videos. and. Uh, and then I got to meet the Hush crew. Um, man, that was amazing. Uh, uh, Casey, Eric, Logan. But um, it was it was really fun. Um, I got to talk to those guys for a long time, and I actually did a video with Eric. Um, and it's 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 all going to be in this one episode. These videos I did did with um, people and. And um, I, I did a video with Born and Raised. Um, I got to meet uh, Trent, um, and I got to meet uh, Cody and Eric Strand. Um, uh, Cody and Eric did a uh, uh, a video with me, and um, and I appreciate everything these guys did. They took their time. They were, you know, closing up shop, and they were done, and they were trying to get home, and. And you know they did a video for me, just a you know quick video, and and I really do appreciate it. Um, I did get to do a video with Martin Shag. Um, I don't. Know, a lot of people really don't know him. I know him because he's um, done a lot of content with Eric Chesser from Hush, and uh, Martin does his own stuff where he does a lot of shed hunting, a ton of shed hunting, but he also does other hunting, and he's 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 really good. Um, a down-to-earth guy and that's what his videos bring 
Um, I got to meet Gritty, uh, Brad McCall. Um, that was that was pretty cool. I mean, he's he's big in podcasts. He's a very very smart man. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff. He's he's met a lot of people. He's he's used a lot of equipment. So, you know, he's he's a good one to either watch hunting or uh, listen to his podcasts. Um, Ryan Lampers again, another great great hunter. Um, he he is a true backcountry wilderness DIY guy. I mean, he just he is a great hunter, and he's one of those people that if you're gonna do backcountry DIY, pack in and hunt for days, he's one that you need to be watching because he's that guy that's got that content, and he's the one that lives out there with the with the game, and he does he's very successful. Um, Man, I don't know. I, I met a ton of people. But anyway, so this video that I've been trying to come up with and it's taken me this long to do is called Why Do You Do What You Do? And I'm going to answer that one. And then after that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, the others are going to follow behind. Um, why am I sitting here talking to you at 20 some degrees in Colorado? And rockets running around in the background back here. So. Um, if y'all haven't met him yet, Rocket is my service dog um, from uh, uh, the PTSD that I suffer from all the years of the fire and EMS that uh, I did and uh, some of the traumas that I encountered pretty much 30 some years worth of it. So, um, so I got Rocket this year and, and he's, he's an amazing dog. We just got back from Arizona from a hunt, but anyway. Don't get sidetracked. So, why do you do what you do? I do these videos. I do hunting consulting. I do um, guide uh, services, which I, you know, I, I, I guide. Um, I've actually broadened up a little bit this year. Uh, I'm guiding in Arizona now. Um, I'm still guiding in New Mexico. I'm still guiding in Colorado. Um, I I help people build hunts um, in my consulting so it's a it's sort of a, a consulting but yet I can help you build a hunt that meets your physical needs and, and your wants and um, so the why do I do this I do all of this not for the money because if it was for the money and I was making a lot. There'd be all, there'd be ton more people doing this. Um, I don't I don't charge a high price. A lot of people are like, "Man, you give me so much information. You should be charging more." And I'm like, "I'm. It's not about the money. It's, you know, I, I charge enough to help pay for my overhead, which is my web designs and my taxes and you know all the stuff that goes into having a business. And um, and and that's it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not raking in money and buying new stuff. Every penny that I get goes back into my business. And, um, you know, the reason why I do it is because of the feeling you get when you help educate someone or people and, and they, they appreciate it or you educate somebody and they're successful. Um, I've helped people from learning how to use a mouth read that have never called turkeys or ever used a mouth read to, to people who have and they want to they wanna try to get better at doing a specific call. And how Colorado operates or New Mexico on the draw system and units and you know what all this stuff means and yes there's tons of people that do videos there's tons of people that do podcasts on this information the problem is is you're talking these people are talking about stuff still at a higher level when you know nothing about any of this and you use the term park application dates points draw system units 
people don't know what that means because on it, over in the eastern part of the state and the southeast that is not a thing you go to the store and you buy yourself a tag and and you go hunting that's that's it you know i grew up in west virginia that's where i learned to hunt and that's the way it was you just got a tag you know and you're allowed to kill so many bucks and does and turkeys and bears and you know that's just that was just the way um and then when i started out here years of years ago uh coming this way and hunting it took me five six years to figure out this whole colorado uh, application you know at that time it was an over-counter tag for me uh, the deer application was uh, i had to apply for a tag and i was successful and took a great velvet uh, uh mule deer um but you know all that stuff is hard for people to understand and it was for me so for me to be here being able to give that information back to people is the whole reason why i do what i do in the consulting side of it um when i guide um yeah i'm being paid and yeah i'm, I'm probably going to get a tip um but that means about this much to me. I don't know if you can see it, but like that much. Um, because my goal is to watch you take an elk or a mule deer or an oryx or an all dead or whatever we're hunting. Because I know that this has been a dream of yours or this has been something that you really wanted to do because you normally don't hire guides to uh, um, an outfitter to guide you unless you're like hey listen I, I can't I don't think I can get this done by myself and you know this is gonna be a, like a one-shot type of deal um, so I'm gonna hire you know I'm gonna hire an outfitter and get a guide so so that's normally who by who who I got and so you know being able to do this um, is is what and why I do what I do. I do it to educate people. I do it to, to watch the excitement on hunters' faces when they harvest whatever it is that they're hunting. It is one of those things where you just sit there and, and you take it in and they are, they're, they're full of emotions and they're just out there with just you know they're just pouring it out to you how how excited they are and how important this was and how amazing this was and you know they just go on and on about it and and to me that's why I do what I do you know I I do education um, I I I talk to kids and um, uh, at schools and I I I promote the outdoors and and I'm really big on getting the youth back into the outdoors. I'm big on females being in the outdoors hunting. I think it's great. And so it's it's one of those things where now I'm at that point where I think we need to we need to educate the the new generation to the outdoors whether it's hiking or hunting or fishing or or just learning about the outdoors and the animals and 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 what role they play and in our environment along with us and uh, you know as a conservative our conservationist and and a, and a, and a outdoorsman and and everything to me I don't think it's something that you should, we should be taking lightly because if, if we're not careful we're gonna lose some of our our good things that have been there for years and and you know some of my greatest memories and some some of the greatest things I've ever done was in the woods hunting and uh, you know it, it's a place where you go to think and and see nature and and really you, you see things that you just would not see if you if you were anywhere else and I, I just think it's big the education part of it it's it's just very big for me so um, and when I'm guiding, I, I tell my clients before we start, hey, you know, if you have any questions, ask. Uh, why did you do this? Or why are you doing this? Why are we doing this? Ask. I, I'm probably going to tell you anyway, but if I don't, just ask. And I'll tell you because I like teaching my hunters what I'm doing and why I'm doing it 
because I know eventually if they want to come back and do a hunt on their own, at least I can give them some information and knowledge that they can do it on their, on their own and have a little bit better chance of success. You know, that's the purpose of my consulting because with my consulting, I can educate them and help them understand more about what they're coming into the state to do and how to do it and, and where to go and what to look for and, you know, just the, give them a really good foundation before they come to the state to hunt no matter what it is because by educating them, then they won't be those who just show up somewhere and just are randomly walking through the woods and messing up people's hunts. They're going to know what they're looking for. They're going to know what they're after. They're going to know, you know, the wind and, and the thermals. I mean, that's stuff we know, but a lot of people that's new to this don't know that. So that's why it's important for the education side to me. So, so why do I do what I do? I do it to educate. I do it to, to help others achieve a goal or, or a um, lifelong dream. And again, when I get a picture from a client who, who I've uh, give some consulting to and, and they've taken a, a bull, you know, that's, that's just right there is like, that's awesome. Like, I'm not telling you exact locations. You pick your own locations. You pick your areas. You pick your units. All I do is I help you, try, you, know, you know, narrow it down to, to units based off of what you're expecting out of your hunt. That type of education that I can give to people. And I, you know, again, why do I do what I do? I do it because I love it. I do it, I, I do it to, to help people. I do it to watch people's excitement and, and bring happiness to them. That makes, that makes, that makes my day. Like that's, that's like the, the greatest thing you can get out of, out of, of taking somebody hunting. Some examples I have is I've got this letter. Um, I think it was a, two years ago, I, I took a, a family on a uh, summer pack trip and they're very outdoors. Uh, the mom and dad are, are, are a big, big time hunters and uh, their daughters are, are going to be our hunters. Um, they're actually going to be going on a, I think it's this, this year or next year they're doing a, a, a hunt. Their daughters are going to be hunting. Um, I'm working with them on, on getting them a location. But um, I, I was their guide um, during the summer pack trip and you know I, it's where we, we take you in and we have horses and we have camp and you know we just you, you live out there for five seven days however long you choose and it, it it's a lot of fun you can go fishing hiking horseback right whatever it is that you want to do we'll go do it so um but um I, I was cleaning out my truck the other day and i found this and i was like you know what this this is this is why i do what i do you are the best guide ever greg Thank you for everything you did for us. And thank you for the hikes and the stories about your life and just helping us for everything. And, uh, you know, these, these two girls got together and, and, and they, they wrote a letter to me. So, you know, that, you know how much that means to me? That's more than, than, than what money can buy right there. Um, these girls love the outdoors. We went on a, a pretty good hike and uh, found an elk shed and, and I showed them and, and, and they went home with that elk shed. It was a really good five by. Uh, I only found the one side and, and I sent her home with them. I, I'm not a big shed hunter. Um, sometimes I just randomly come across sheds and, and this was one of those cases, but this was their trip. And, and, you know, we, we were doing a hike, and it, it was theirs. It was theirs to have. So um, they took it home with them, and they were excited. And I do still talk to them. Um, and like I said, I'm helping them try to find uh, a hunt for their two girls, and, and they're going to go on their first big game hunt, which is going to be amazing. And, um, you know, and 
another reason, if I can find my phone here, um, I do what I do is because of, um, you know, statements like this. Uh, Mr. Fagans came to speak to my agriculture class in the fall of 2022. He was generous with his time and knowledge uh, of the many outfitters I have reached out to. Mr. Fagans was the only one to respond and I'm so thankful he did. He was the guest speaker that my students enjoyed the most and were most inspired by. It was so awesome to see them at getting excited about the possibility of working as an outfitter. He is very knowledgeable and uh, personable. As I listened to his talk, I, it, was clear, well, it was clear to me that he is inspired to his work by a desire to serve others, connect, and the, connect with them personally, and provide an unforgettable experience for his clients. Sophia Antol. So I went to Pagosa High School and I spoke to uh, an FFA class about, um, it was like a sort of a, a job fair kind of thing for the outdoors. And she contacted a ton of people and nobody came. Nobody even responded to her. I did because Education is very important, people. And when I got that response from her, I was just, you know, I didn't get any money. I didn't get anything for going to school and talking. I did that on my own. There was nothing expected. And then she wrote that letter and, and mailed it to me, and I was just, I was taken away. Um, if you go to www.celtic. Um, dash outdoors.com that's my website you go to reviews you will see on there people I've guided people I've helped and and there's comments on there and, and you know they're they're being great there's people who never k killed with me and and they still uh, have given me good reviews so you know that is why I do what I do so so anyway I hope you I hope you liked it it took me way too long to get to it and uh, and put this video together but I, I i finally got it and um i hope you all continue to watch uh some content again uh, my website's going to be on here um if you do not follow and you haven't subscribed please please just click the su subscribe button i i'd really appreciate it it uh it, it helps um, the algorithms and it, it, it helps me understand who's watching and what content you like and and what you want to see more of um, send me a message leave a comment hey I'd like to see more about this or hear more about this and you know what about this type of equipment so anyway thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video hopefully it won't be this long before I find and, and get another video up for y'all.